What's going on you guys? This is Aaron from Departures Capital and welcome to the video. In this video, we're talking about an exciting new company in the aerospace sector called Astro Aerospace. Now I'm excited to talk about this company because we have talked about similar things, but uh, this is a very truly unique company. So I'm excited to bring it to you guys. I'm excited to be talking about it. And in this video, we're gonna be pretty much introducing the company, what they do, talking about the market and um, all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Last but not least, for full disclosure details, this is a sponsored video. So this video was sponsored by a third party on behalf of Astro Aerospace. Check the description down below for full disclosure details, along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer and always remembering that these videos are not financial advice. So with that being said, guys, let's get straight into the video. Like I said, I'm excited to talk about it. Of course, don't forget to leave a like if you do appreciate all the videos and content that I put out, along with hitting that subscribe button and the bell for notifications on future videos, new companies down the road, and drop us a comment down below. Let us know what you think about this company. So guys, Astro Aerospace. First, let's talk about the stock. You can find out more information on their website at flyastro.com. That is ticker symbol ASDN on the OTC markets. The future is here. Transcending physical boundaries, our engineers push the laws of motion and energy to the limit to create a state-of-the-art product design to get you to where you need to go faster, safer, and more enjoyably. You've imagined this moment your whole life rising above traffic and flying directly to where you need to be and who you want to be with. At Astro, we're here to connect you to the future of things to come. So this is a truly innovative, exciting company. So Future Meets function as one of the world's first fully functional autonomous aerial vehicles. Elroy is sleek, simple, and environmentally efficient, epitomizing the ideal vehicle of the modern age. 70 kilometer max speed, 25 minute flight time. This is the moment to rise above and reclaim control over our time, well-being, and impact on the environment. So the onset of vertical takeoff and landing or VTOL aircrafts will disrupt our cities and our daily lives in an unprecedented way, radically improving urban mobility and avoiding time lost in traffic. So that's a brief introduction to the company guys. Now I quickly want to talk about the stock. So like I said, ticker symbol ASDN on the OTC markets trading for 292 right now as of Friday's close um, with a market cap of 24.66 million US dollars. So let's take a look at the stock, how it's performed over the last month. So it does have a 52 week range of three cents to $7 and 34 cents. So let's take a look at the performance over the last month. So the stock has traded as high as just over four and as low as about 250. We're currently trading for 290 and um, it looks like we might be running into some levels of support, hopefully soon um, with the potential for it to hopefully move higher. Of course, we can't predict the future. And these videos are not financial advice, but um, the stock has clearly pulled back from its recent run of 360. So let's get into an interesting article from techmarkets.com. You can find the link to this article down below in the description. So Astro, the future is here. Taking flight, eVTOL could be the world's next trillion dollar electric vehicle market. Nearing a NASDAQ listing, Astro Aerospace could fly high with the eVTOL's estimated $1.5 trillion total addressable market. By 2030, the International Energy Agency says we could see approximately 145 million EVs on the road by the end of the decade. That figure could approach 230 million. Plus, with the U.S. pledge to reduce emissions by up to 52 percent, the U.S. could fuel significant electric vehicle growth. A colossal game changer could create a potential $3 trillion market after all stocks like Tesla have run from 40 bucks to nearly $676. Neo from $1.56 to around $39 per share. But those are not the only electric vehicle stories with astronomical potential. Investment in autonomous flying aircraft is accelerating with implications for the future of passenger travel, military and defense applications, and freight and package transportation, says Morgan Stanley. In fact, the same technologies that power drones and steer autonomous vehicles could launch flying cars from the pages of sci-fi comics to the skies of our cities. So you guys can watch this interesting video on you know their product i'm quickly gonna bring it up on screen for you guys just so we can get an idea of you know what it looks like so that's just a short clip for you guys now let's talk about the top reasons to consider Astro Aerospace before liftoff. So number one, the electric vertical takeoff and landing market could have an addressable market of nearly 1.5 trillion by 2040. Number two, Morgan Stanley says that investment in autonomous flying aircraft is accelerating with implications for the future of passenger travel, military and defense applications and freight and package transportation. 
Number three, Astro Aerospace appears to be severely undervalued. ASDN carries a market cap of about 65 million. That was at the time of writing. Um, it, it, is, it is significantly lower now. Against its competition, which has a projected median valuation of about 5.2 billion, the stock could be undervalued by as much as 80%. Number four, the company just announced a definitive agreement to acquire Horizon Aircraft, an advanced aerospace engineering company that developed the world's first eVTOL. Moving forward, both could accelerate the development of the Caverit 5X eVTOL advanced prototype. This could be a generational catalyst. So there are 10, we're on number five now, guys. Astro Aerospace believes this new aerospace technology offers significant advantages over current conventional aircraft. This includes lower operating costs to reduce noise footprint, increased safety, and lower carbon emissions. Number six, Astro Aerospace's full-scale Caverit 5X is designed to reduce hydrocarbon emissions operation in poor weather and ease of flying for low time pilots. Not to mention, it is expected to travel up to an estimated 450 kilometers an hour with a 500 kilometer range. That is pretty fast. The company's patented fan in wing technology allows the Caverit 5X to be the world's first EV toll that can fly most of its mission precisely like a normal aircraft. Number eight, by 2025, the market could be worth up to 458 million with a compound annual growth rate of approximately 29.6% by 2033. Analysts at Research Dive estimate the market could be worth up to 4.22 billion. Number nine, traffic congestion contributes to serious negative consequences in terms of lost time, increased fuel consumption, higher emissions, and accidents. In addition, road congestion accounts for 40% of global transportation pollution, 750 million metric tons of CO2 equivalent. Fortunately, eVTOLs, may be able to help reduce those emissions. And finally, number 10, according to ID Tech X, some of the top aerospace and auto companies are investing in eVTOL, recognizing it as a potentially disruptive new transport mode. So we did talk about the technicals of the stock. Since the article, it has pulled back. We are currently trading for 292 now. Just who is Astro Aerospace? Astro Aerospace is the developer of the world's most advanced autonomous short haul eVTOL aerial vehicles. Its mission is to make self-flying unmanned and manned vehicles available to anyone at any time from anywhere, all while eventually turning this new and exciting aircraft into a mainstream mode of transportation. Plus, its stock may be severely undervalued. So here's some of the competition, you know, valuations in the industry. 2 billion, 4.3, 6.1, and 8.7 billion. Like I said, if you're interested, you can go to this article and find out more information regarding, you know, the comparison. Helping the company just announced a definitive agreement to acquire Horizon Aircraft, an advanced aerospace engineering company that developed the world's first eVTOL. Moving forward, both will accelerate the development of the Caverit 5X eVTOL advanced prototype, which could be a powerful catalyst. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this. It's a pretty interesting, um, sleek looking product, you could say. Astro Aerospace believes this new aerospace technology offers significant advantages over current conventional aircraft. This includes lower operating costs to reduce noise footprint, increased safety and lower carbon emissions. Astro Aerospace's full-scale Caverit 5X is designed for reduced hydrocarbon emissions, operation in poor weather, and ease of flying for low time pilots. Not to mention is expected to travel up to 450 kilometers per hour with a 500 kilometer range. The company's patented fan in wing technology allows the Caverit 5X to be the world's first EV toll it can fly most of its mission precisely like a normal aircraft. So there we can see those fans in the wing. The next trillion dollar industry. So passenger advanced air mobility, 851 billion. Goods advanced air mobility, 413 billion. Military defense, 12 billion. Technology services, 198 billion. And total addressable market of 1.5 trillion. So a few more things to touch on before we wrap up this video. EVTOL growth could take flight with a growing global urban population. According to the United Nations, in 2018, around 55% of the world's population lived in urban areas and is expected to increase to 68% by 2050. Therefore, demand for efficient and effective mobility in urban areas is a crucial challenge. Here we have the Astro Alta, a series of pods designed to perform in a multitude of situations from cargo to agriculture. And then finally, EV tolls already viewed as a potentially disruptive new transport mode. Incumbent OEMs like Boeing, Airbus, and Bell have ongoing eVTOL development programs. The major aerospace suppliers Raytheon, GE, Saffron, Rolls-Royce, and Honeywell are all investing in eVTOL technologies. The automotive industry has taken an interest as well with Honda, Hyundai, Stellantis, and Daimler all part of ongoing eVTOL projects. 
So guys, it's an interesting company, a truly uh, innovative company, you could say, with some interesting prototypes in the pipeline. It's going to be interesting to see how this pans out. Of course, this is, you know, high growth industry. It's an industry very forward looking many years down the road, but um, that's usually where the money is made, you know, seeing the vision, believing in something. So it's going to be interesting to see how Astro Aerospace performs. If you do like what you see so far in this video, guys, feel free to check out their website or the article down below in the description. That's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed the introduction. Drop some comments down below. Let me know what you truly think, good or bad. All comments welcome. And finally, always remember guys, this is a sponsored video. So this video was sponsored by a third party on behalf of Astro Aerospace. Check the description down below for full disclosure details, along with thoroughly reading our disclaimer. And finally, Departures Capital and Departures Stocks are for information, education, and entertainment purposes only. Don't buy or sell a stock because you heard it on here. Buy or sell a stock because you've done your research. You've done your thorough due diligence and you're making your own personal investment decisions for yourself. This video is not financial advice. We'll see you guys in our next video. Thank you.